getting the car ready for the track there's some things i want to show you that we did in preparation for that so we deleted some of the ac lines there we're going to clean up our catch can lines that are running all over the intake manifold and then we're going to delete some of this stuff that's here for the ac stuff that's still remaining like the holder there we're going to fix our tie down clean up some of these hard lines that don't aren't going anywhere and then we're also going to come over here the zip ties are hanging up like that we're going to just clean it all up get it ready for the track which needs to be done pretty soon since we're going when are we going friday friday yes sir so we got seven days no six days six days to get a wrap including right today and then later on this week i want to address that hose down there that's a supposed to be a bypass for the heater core but that's not looped that's pinched yeah. so we'll fix that we have to do that we have to get cisco's car ready as well i'm gonna show you that one here you pop the hose? yeah So as you can see, we got a lot of stuff to take care of here too. This is Cisco's project. He's been uh, taking nothing and turning it into something. We're gonna see how much of a something it is this Friday. Make sure my cam gears are set at zero because it goes to the tuner on Monday. I got a fuel line leak out the fuel pressure regulator. I also have a cooling leak somewhere that we're gonna hunt down and fix. Other than that, that's all she has and needs. I think we can get it right. Just a little bit here, a little bit there. Mm -hmm. It'll be fine. We'll put it down a quarter. It's only got to run, what is it, 1,320 feet? Something like that? Yeah. From green light to finish? Yeah, I've got to balance the tires, check my alignment. I got a nasty torque steer on it now. All right. We'll make it right. That's what we're here for. Yes, sir. That's what we're here to do. So I'm going to run it just where it's currently at, but I'm going to loop it like this and do just like a little soft 90 into the uh into the intake manifold right there because i can use this other remainder of hose for something else i don't have to have all of that so i'm gonna just eyeball it let's see if that'll work let's see here all right so yeah i got i got a little extra there so i can cut down some more i cut down that much more there we go yeah that's better that's better see i can't have too much going though because i'm gonna hit that pulley so i gotta cut it just right let's cut it just right here watch me cut too much <laughs> there we go yes yeah, that's better still hitting the pulley though let's cut some more Oops. Oh, I fell on the concrete. Good. All right, let's see here. Yeah, that's better. That's good. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Cool. That's one part of the catch can. Now I want to fix this that spiders all the way around and it does this weird dollar store tea bull crap. What the fuck? I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That's crazy, huh? That's Remember when we found that bolt for the motor mount and it was all yes. like, yeah. So we're, that's what we're dealing with. We're cleaning up mistakes and stuff like that, but we'll, we'll get it right. So we're going to eliminate this hose so we can bring this T back over there and then we can run this line more with this fuel rail. So that way we don't have it draped over the intake, which will look a lot better. Mm -hmm. We got a whole lot cleaner. Chico's garage proof? Approved. All right, so I'm just going to pull the PCB out easier said than done i guess it's just a hard tight spot oh there it is there it is there's it, whoa, that thing's hot oh look in there look in there look in there, look in there. show them that look at that that's nasty what was that guy from the show what was his name Ooh. the clevelander or whatever his name oh, cleveland cleveland oh, that's nasty <laughs> that's nasty but you see what we could do here with this pipe here yeah, we can PCB. modify it i could cut here Mm -hmm. which is your PCV put our little rubber hose and put our rubber hose oh, I'm leaning on it put right. our little rubber hose on it and clean that and then go to the T of... yep that's it that's the yeah. move let's modify it perfect let's go
cut the line open. Look at this. It's completely, completely clogged with like some crud in there. So I don't know how, I really don't know how that was flowing, but it wasn't. <laughs> so time to unclog it. There's our solution. Now, as you can see, I got the intake manifold all cleaned up now, and I don't have any catch line, oil catch can line sitting over it. It's all there now, so. Off into the distance, disappeared. This one here, I'll put a little tie there and it'll be good to go. I'm gonna straighten this mess out. There's no reason these throttle and cruise control cables should be twisted up. Meanwhile. you can read it yeah you get a direct reading from that if you just take it and plug it right up your readings are gonna be so off gonna be outrageous so I'll get right back outrageous up. outrageous and no buenos well take off this cheese noodle spaghetti yo yeah, with no sauce is. wiring you got over here chicken noodle soup and I got a water on the side on that side and then we'll mount it properly plug it right up here yeah right back where it goes We'll drill a hole here if we have to, and run it right to the to the glove box where your computer is. I gotta see how that uh, that harness is gonna play out too. So I've committed to sweating like crazy in Florida and freezing on the one or two cold days. I got rid of the heater core stuff, got rid of the AC stuff. So now it's a time to clean it up a little bit more. Don't need that anymore. Okay, so here's what it looks like without all the heater stuff. I need to order a bypass hose they're like on amazon they're like freaking like three or five bucks or something it just does a perfect horseshoe here because i don't need heat so the heat lines are gone ac lines are gone i still have to figure out a way to keep keep that bad boy down but cleaned all this out that's all the slp intakes all clean cleaned the throttle body that needed to be cleaned got these straightened out got this cleaned up so now i'm gonna put it in the air and I'm going to delete everything that's inside of there. That's all that secondary air pump nonsense. Okay. So here's that secondary air pump assembly that we're going to rip out that whole thing. So there it is, there's that pump. I have no use for it. And it's pretty heavy, it's probably, I don't know, like five pounds, six pounds, so. So somebody came through with some parts and we're doing all the spark plugs. Came through with some goodies. Yeah. So we're gonna make it right.
engine bay is all cleaned up everything's tightened up so it's ready for the track next weekend you'll come with us we'll send it see how it goes make sure you click the like button make sure you click the subscribe button that way you can see the next video when it comes out see you at the track